Cooper Smith is your typical two-year-old. Everyone sit down. Let's go to school. Rambunctious and full of energy, he likes playing with his older brothers, eating hot dogs, and helping his mom in the kitchen at their home in Baldwinsville. But Cooper is also one of the 500,000 babies born prematurely every year in the United States. Doctors found problems with his mom Nikki's pregnancy during her 16-week ultrasound, bringing the family's world to a screeching halt. It's a nightmare of sorts because this most precious part of you is um, something's not right and things that could potentially um, be very harmful or take them from you, so it's scary. Her baby had fluid around his heart, an enlarged kidney, and a cyst on his brain. Nikki was a high-risk pregnancy and doctors monitored her closely. When Cooper stopped growing inside the womb, doctors decided Nikki needed a C-section to deliver Cooper early. He came out seven weeks ahead of schedule, weighing just two pounds. The doctor's holding Cooper in one hand and uh, he really is a small peanut but screaming and hollering and uh, the doctor comes and in and, and a, and a very quick short, he looks like he'll be all right. And, and that's all we really need to hear. We need to hear him scream and the doctors say, it looks like he's, he's going to be all right. Nikki and Eric spent the next 74 days going back and forth to the neonatal intensive care unit at Kraus Hospital, juggling time with Cooper while still caring for their two other sons, all the while watching Cooper grow bigger and stronger. He's stronger than any of us could be, and you know, you worry about him in the NICU, you worry about him as he gets home, but uh, he, he's, the strength that he has is amazing. While visiting Cooper at Krauss, Nikki saw a pamphlet about the March of Dimes and learned how much of its research was helping Cooper stay alive. The March of Dimes, which celebrates its 75th anniversary this year, played a pivotal role in wiping out polio. Now it continues to try to bring down the premature birth rate, spreading the message that healthy babies are worth the wait. The premature birth rate in New York State is down, but the March of Dimes is still working to make sure that babies like Cooper grow up to be happy and healthy. What are you making? Oh, a pie. It's a pie? But Cooper's future still comes with some uncertainty. Cooper is the I don't know baby. You know, still to this day, nobody can give a def definitive answer why he's small. The Smiths are now an ambassador family for the organization, grateful for how it's helped them. We had been given so much. You know, their research is why Cooper's here today. The March of Dimes events, including the March for Babies, are a way for the Smiths to give back and to heal. The October after he came home, we, our entire family, went to uh, the Parkway in Liverpool and we walked for him and for all those other preemies out there. And today, Cooper is living the life every little boy should. If we start anything in the kitchen, I make it or I bake it, and he'll go to the oven and point to it, or, or I help. So he wants to get up there and, and get involved in, in whatever uh, it is. He does everything that everybody else here does. He just is a little bit smaller, and, and I'd say he needs help with it, but he really doesn't because he, he finds a way. You know, he, he does what he does, and he does it Cooper's way, and that works. And Cooper's way is what inspires his family to give back so more babies can live and thrive just like their little man. Reporting in Baldwinsville, I'm Katie Corrado.